Now, over three weeks since the explosion on the Deepwater Horizon drilling rig, crews are trying yet another idea to stem the gushing geyser of oil into the Gulf. The latest attempt involves threading a mile-long six-inch tube into the pipe as a way to siphon the oil to a ship on the surface. As BP tries to contain the massive oil spill, the question remains just how much oil is leaking into the Gulf. BP continues to claim it's about 5,000 barrels a day. But some scientists are saying, based on analysis of BP's video of the leak, the flow rate is much higher. These are the kinds of flows that can be analyzed uh, for flow rates and, can, uh, and there are ways to make uh, fairly good estimates. Environmentalists say they're not surprised at the large difference in the estimates. It's very common for companies to underestimate the impacts of accidents like this. I'm not saying that's what BP is doing, but it is very common. Um, I don't think they have as much of an interest in knowing how much oil is coming out as the public might. For now, BP is sticking with the 5,000 barrel estimate. A company spokesman said BP hasn't sent down equipment that might be able to more accurately measure the oil because, quote, our focus is on stopping the leak, not measuring it. The Coast Guard also says estimating the size is not a priority. Our mobilization of resources have been for something far beyond that because we're all, always prepared for a catastrophic event. So we have not been constrained in our planning or our, or our resources or our tactics uh, by the flow estimates. President Obama again promised his commitment to the recovery effort. The people of the Gulf Coast need our help, and they deserve nothing less than for us to stand up and do whatever is necessary to stop this spill, prevent further damage, and compensate all those who have been harmed already. Although no one knows for sure exactly how much oil is still leaking out, one thing we do know, BP is still not close to stopping the leak. Haven Daily, The Associated Press, New Orleans.